Your comfort zone is limiting your success. Are you ready? Are you ready to step out of your comfort zone and claim the success that you desire for 2022 and beyond? Hey, (laughs) y'all. Dr. Sekira Sunshine here. And with me is my co-host. Ah! I think think, think there's a crow in here. Ah! (laughs) No, that's just me. That's Alexander Dizan. Yeah. So I just stepped out of my comfort zone. There we go. Ah. I can also do like seagull. I can do a little uh, chickadee bird. I can do like an Amazon bird. Yes. Stepping out of your comfort zone. And believe me, the fact that Alex is actually making all those noises, he's really stepping out. And sometimes we have to do those things. We have to do the things that look strange, sound strange. <laughs> Well, they sound normal to birds. So you see, <laughs> comfort zone might be strange to us, but to someone else, they might think that that comfort, that uh, what we're doing is completely normal. And what I realize is that when we come from a place of we're doing it because we love it, because we love ourselves, because we're just being authentic, then everybody will resonate or those who need to resonate with it will. Yes. Yes. And we stop focusing on, because one of the things that keep us in our comfort zone is, I wonder what this person will think. I wonder what that person will think. And we get into this box, but for 2022 and beyond, you can start today to take the steps to step out of your comfort zone because everything that you desire is a decision away. <laughs> okay. <Whoa. laughs> You gotta put it down a little bit. Your camera. Thank God that I came on Zoom dressed. I just didn't have on. A- <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That this funny. would have probably gone like a viral video. You know those videos that you see when people are like, um, they're on Zoom and then something happens. <laughs> they're like not prepared. See, I'm wearing no well. pants <laughs> and no boxers. I was prepared. I'm dressed. I'm (laughs) official. (laughs) So, Alex, this idea of comfort zone, what is it, like, practically, what is it when we say that people are in their comfort zone? What does it look like for you? What's your experience with being stuck in your comfort zone and taking the steps to get out? Here's another comfort zone I'm going to bust out of. I have hemorrhoids. How about that? That was really difficult for me to admit. However, when I brought that up with the pharmacist, she was like, oh, so many people have it. This is like a regular thing. And I was like, really? And she's like, yeah, what do you like? It doesn't matter. She's like, I get them all the time. And I was like, whoa. And like, I was like, no way. So what practice do I have with being in a comfort zone? It's like everything I do is a comfort zone until we like step out of it. And then we just create a new comfort zone and then we step out of it again and our comfort zone just increases and it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so that's, that's the growth that we're always, um, that's the growth we experience is always stepping out of our comfort zone. If we always stay in that original comfort zone, then we have no growth. We're just going to be stuck our entire lives doing the same thing. But see, like, even me admitting I have a hemorrhoids to that pharmacist, for example, like I didn't know everyone has them. And because I brought it up with her, like she was like, Oh, everyone has them. And again, but had I not stepped out of my comfort zone, gone to the pharmacy, asked for help been like, I need something, but I had to be honest, even though it's a pharmacist and they're like trained professional, it doesn't matter. It's still, I had to get out and i didn't want to do that so i mean like what kind of that's just like one example but one one thing that has been it's been coming up as we're growing as we're developing as we're you know launching out you've you've made this statement you texted to me this morning is what you're afraid of that's where you need to go yes something to that effect what you're afraid i'm trying to find it uh, but you said it, so you should know it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you said it right. What you're afraid of is where you need to go. Yes. I know. I know. I'm like a and, guru. 
I know as um, financial professionals, uh, especially when it comes to, you know, uh, attracting the customers that we want, sometimes the real, the ideal customer that we want, it's so hard to think of, okay, I can be able to talk to this person, especially as young professionals. And it doesn't matter whether you're a financial professional or business owner, whatever, it can be hard to to come out of your comfort zone to be able to even contact those individuals or befriend those individuals. Um, but when we are able to step out and to go to the place that we're afraid of, that's when we really start to grow and success will start to flow our way. So that's one area that I've had to be able to, to step out of, to decide that, guess what? I am enough to attract the ideal customer that I want. And I want to step out and to be able to do the things, even though I'm fearful, it's scary, but I'm going to take the first step because that's where I am experiencing the greatest growth right now. I think, uh, you know, me being in the financial industry, I think it's really important to, and I've started to do this over the last year and a half is look for clients and this is for me specifically but this applies to everyone but to look for well, i'm looking for clients not based on their like physical circumstance so i.e like a business owner or a pre-retiree or anything like that my my niche is subjective it's based on their personality and that is it i don't care what they do what they say i or i do care what they say actually uh, i don't care what they do and like how, how much assets they have or whatever because i know all of those things will align when i just trust that finding the person that i want to deal with finding the personality and their heart that i want to deal with that is good enough because when i start to align my heart with my clients hearts then all of a sudden our relationship has much more of a of, of a, a dynamic than if I just help like business owners that need like help on like their estate taxes. Like that's great, but why not find a business owner that's looking for estate taxes that aligns exactly with who you are at your heart? Because mm -hmm. then it's not work anymore. Because then you're making a friend. Then you're having, you're establishing a relationship and then that trust is there because your hearts are talking to each other, not your minds. Mm, that, that is powerful. And we have, we need to set the intention, especially when it comes on to relationships and friendships and client that anytime there, there's going to be an exchange to move beyond the physical, to move the, beyond the material and to move to a place, as you have so aptly described it, where we can connect from a heart-centered place. Because <laughs> you you will testify of it, those relationships, those friendships, whether it's in business or just in life in general, I think we're two perfect examples of what that looks like, <laughs> is that when we can connect from a heart-centered place, it's not as difficult anymore. But first, we have to be willing to step out of the comfort zone, to step out of what we're used to, to step out sometimes of the friendship, the cycle and the circle that we're used to, to step into being able to know other people. Like prime example, <laughs> most of my friends have been looking like me. That, that's been my circle for a long time. And I was able to step out of that to be like, okay, just be open into new experiences can be um, quite transformative when we're stepping out of our comfort zone. I um, like, I I'm thinking, thanks for sharing that, by the way, I think uh, like I'm thinking about my clients or the people I partner with. And I think about each of them and they're amazing people. We get along, but you know what, what's amazing is that I always show up as myself and when mm. i say myself like i make the same jokes that i make when i'm talking to Securia in our spare time and i act the same way and i say the same things and i'm not like professional and you know what sometimes i don't wear a suit and tie like i don't wear a tie first of all 
But if I want to wear a dress shirt, like I wear one, but if I don't, my clients don't care. I literally wear, I have tattoos and I wear a t-shirt and I meet my clients. And I remember at the beginning, I'd be like, I, you know, I'm wearing my t-shirt. I'm dressed in civvies, civvies being like a Catholic high school where you had one day a month that you could wear whatever you wanted. So everyone was like went wild for that. But I'd be like, I'm wearing civvies and they're like, we don't care what you wear. And you know what? It's when you stop caring about what other people think, then they stop caring what what you expect them to think. Mm, that's that's amazing. I I saw a cartoon recently of a client um, who, who has a little saying, "I'm looking for an authentic advisor," and the advisor in their head is, "I." I need to be perfect <laughs> or look or pretend to be perfect for my client. And that's why a lot of times you have people in the business industry, they're not getting the clients they need because they think they need to be somebody else in order to attract the right clients. It doesn't work like that. The only people that we can show up as is ourselves, our authentic selves. And whenever we reach a point where we can accept who we are, and stop trying to be everybody else, the world would accept them. I said that to you the other day, is that the minute I started accepting myself, I gave other people permission to accept me. Come on now. <laughs> the minute, I have to say it again. <laughs> the minute I started accepting myself, I gave others the permission to accept me. That, that is important. One of um, one of the things that is coming up right now is again because I am in the financial industry. I know, like I'm going to speak for advisors, but this goes ac again across the board because I know a lot of people think the same thing. But you know, a, when I was first starting out, um, I remember you know you're starting out. You take anyone as a client; doesn't matter because you're just desperate and you just want clients and you just want assets and you just, you just need clients. So you'll take anyone and everyone, but as you grow as an advisor, or as you grow in the, in your industry, you start getting more selective about the clients that you start servicing. And it, and it takes you years before you start to do that, before you start to be comfortable in your own skin, because it takes years for you to be comfortable in your own skin. And even then you're not really comfortable in your own skin. You just know how to, how to portray yourself to other people where now, you know, okay, this person's got a million dollars or whatever. I know how to, how to be a certain way so I can get this client. However, we don't have to, even when we start off, we don't have to take on people. And throughout, like, as we're growing, we don't have to take on clients or people that we don't want to take on. We have to trust that showing up as ourselves is all that we need. And I'm doing that right now where I am just showing up as myself. And you know what? Certain clients, they're not going to resonate with me. And I have to believe that it does not matter because I want to establish the way I go to work. I want to show up as myself and I want to feel comfortable going to work. That way work isn't work. Work is life. Life is work. It's the same. Mm. It's, it's, it's a life balance and not a work and life balance when we, when we approach it that way. And we can be in a place of, of, um, of joy and happiness and success doesn't have to come in, in the struggling way that we normally get it because we, find ourselves surrounding with people who we really don't want to serve. Uh, <laughs> but if we come from it, from an authentic place, from a place of knowing who we are, accepting who we are, and showing up in this world as a person of value, it can really, really, really make a big difference. So any, any final word, um, Alex, as we wrap up? Um, <laughs> you know me is like 10,000 words that I want to say, but I know we're, we're cut for time. So, um, I just, I just, I guess I want to say that, like, I know 
what it's like. We know what it's like because we are in this industry and we understand what all financial professionals go through. We live it. We, we've lived it. We understand it. We've gone through the same things, but it does not have to be your way of life anymore. You can make a difference. You can make a change and you can start to embrace yourself. Now I'll leave it up to the doctor. And we specifically brought out um, financial advisors as we were talking because this is a space that we both can re um, resonate with. But you, you could be a business coach. You could be whatever it is that you do where you're in the space of uh, attracting clients or prospecting or, you know, ensuring that your business is actually based on talking to people and getting clients. It can apply to whatever industry we spoke of profession, uh, financial professionals because that's what we can identify with. But if you're listening and it's a case of you are in a box and you need to break out of that box, it's a decision away. You can decide to be you, to love you, and to show up as yourself every single time because that's all that matters. So if it is that you're in that space and you're like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of doing what I've always done <laughs> and not getting any different results. Then we're here for you. Feel free to message us, contact us so that we can help you to break out of your comfort zone and step into the life, the, the, the life that you desire. Step into a space where you can love yourself, be yourself and show up as yourself a hundred percent of the time. Sending you love from us. Discovered Souls as we help you to love and trust yourself. Again. Thank you. <laughs>